first bags on. <laughs> Dether, how's your bag? It's slow this time, I don't know why. You're okay. I'm sweating at all your layers. <laughs> My back is broken. Anything? Right, we're off. Go backpacking, they said. It'll be really good fun, they said. Absolutely breaks your back. The novelty has uh, worn off really quickly of carrying these bags. Second attempt. Everything's numb. Yeah. Collarbone's numb. Can't feel it. Don't know what a collarbone is anymore. Nobody needs shoulders. Why would you need shoulders? Why would you want to travel comfortable? Why? Travelling comfortable is for losers. <laughs> We're on the road again. I'm out of breath. <laughs> it's sore. I'm uh, just wondering at what point in the trip it is that we have the heart attack. Um, I feel like we're pretty close to it already. We made it to the train station. Yep. Made it on the train. Without you, and I can't eat enough without you. If you don't speak, does that mean we're made it to the train station? Get sweat in my brow. Oh, yeah, sweating. Absolutely sweating. Don't know how you're doing it in that jumper. I'm sweating looking at you. Choice bump. Yeah. Don't like sneaky shit that you do. is to explore a wee bit of downtown and then get back to the hotel before it hits dark and we've got a pool and a gym so maybe use that That's just been a hair that you've seen. I'm just running to see if I can get better content. I've caught up with the hair. Look, look. That's my hair, that's my hair. That's my hair. Yep, she's gone. 
so we've just been to the Inglewood area of Calgary. Super, super local. Really good, like, breweries. Um, so we had a couple of pints of, like, the local lager. Really, really good. Um, just, but just really nice to sit out. It gave us, like, SWG3 vibes from home. Uh, so we've had a few pints and now we're walking back and we're going to get the train home uh, back to the motel because we booked a motel even though we've not got a car because that's what we do I don't think that this is right though <laughs> No? No, my dinger's going Heather's dinger's going That's not good What's your dinger saying? My dinger's saying bing 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 Oh really? Yeah, I'm not... Oh. Dinger's going. Heather. What? Get your scooter. Get your scooter up the road. The maddest thing is, she doesn't even need that map. Heather looks at like a map once and she knows how to get people. She just knows how to get you home. She knows all the different lines of all the different trains. It's weird. That's the Rundle Runes. Uh, Heather, have you actually seen a rat? Where? Where did you see the rat? So what happened was we had the map, we didn't have any data to basically search yourself how to get home. So we asked a man that was waiting in the toilet queue with us and he said, oh, I've got family from Scotland. So we talked to him and he sent us this way, but he sent us into the industrial apart, but he sent us to the Rundle Ruins. Which is lovely to see, lovely to tick that off that we've seen the rundle looms. <laughs> What's that, my feet? <laughs> not a rat, not a rat, just a branch. Just a branch. Silly. <laughs> Heather, I'll give you 10p if you go for a pee in there. No. I'll give you a tenner. No. I'll give you £100 to do a pee in there. No? Welcome to the Saddleback Arena. Home of the Calgary Flames. Ice hockey. Here we go. Heather's map seems to have taken us this way. I don't deny that she's right because she's always right when it comes to maps. So I'm not I'm not seeing a thing. But we're going past the stadium. Oh, we stared at each other out. Welcome to Joe's Nature Watch in Canada, <laughs> episode 5. Jo is now an expert in Canadian wildlife after her day at High Park. And this is a Canadian hare who's pretending that she don't see me. But I see you. So without really meaning it, we're uh, backstage at the Stampede course. I'm whispering because I don't know who's maybe going to tell us to come and move on. But we've literally followed our map and we've ended up uh, behind the scenes um, at the park. So I think they basically bring the horses and stampede them around the course. Always nailing it with the maps, Heather. Always nailing it. So she's literally, Heather has got us to the tram line that we need and then we're just going to head home. Um, Heather, you are good. You are good. Look at that tram arriving. Unbelievable. Well, not super warm or it'll shrink. Okay, well, cold then. Um, cold and normal. That's how long this will take, you see. Three bucks. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. 
motion lane somewhat fixed. 